Oh my god. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Juju and you're watching with me a teaser on the episode 1089 that's gonna be shown on January 7. So if you're wondering why the bad lighting, why no green screen, so basically I'm, I'm in Japan again with my family for the holidays so I apologize for the bad 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 lighting but since there's no episode today I decided to react to the Caesar because I want to know what does the egghead island or the egghead arc art style would be like you know so yeah, it's not that like I don't I don't want to surprise myself. I I just you know I just want to see more One Piece, and I can't wait anymore. You know, I mean I think I'm not the only one, but you know just the teaser is okay. I didn't um, watch the recap episode or like a rundown of what happened in Wano. So yeah, enough intro. I just want to see the um, teaser for 1089. So let's dive right in. Ooh, okay. Shit, okay. Oh my god! Oh! Oh shit! Okay. 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 So, yeah, I'm gonna be watching that again and we'll be pausing bit by bit so we could, like, you know, since I'm watching this non-sub even though that i could understand a bit of japanese it's just a bit of japanese so i don't understand a lot i don't understand i don't understand anything well not not, not anything i just i don't understand everything so from seeing the whole teaser the whole 30 second teaser or preview sorry is that we'll be having um you know we'll be knowing or will be informed on what happened on the reverie if what Sabo found out why did the Gorose pin on him or why did yeah why did the Gorose or the government pin the death of Cobra on him or King Cobra on him so yeah I mean obviously it's because the government or the Gorose you know, I did something and you know, they wouldn't be able to or they won't they won't take the blame, of course. They'll definitely pin it on someone else. And Sabo being there is a perfect, you know, scapegoat. So seeing this Um, we're finally entering a new island. Of course. Oh yeah, here. Ente is Sabo. Sorry, I I was just, you know, like recapping on what I said earlier. I watched earlier. But here, so we will be delving into the connection between Sabo and Cobra more. And what's the connection? Why did they pin on Sabo? Why did they blame Sabo for it? Or why did they make Sabo the scapegoat? Shit. And here we finally see. Oh! There's our preview. Who will be with the straw hats on Egghead Island? See? There we go. Who is. Who could that pink haired girl be? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I love the art style of Egghead Island. We'll be finally talking about that now so the movement of or basically the flow of the animation here 
wow it's smooth it's not as like strokey or like how could i say this like it has as much a softer look than wano like if we go back to wano the details and the outlines of wano is so crisp but here it's much softer as well as you know i mean the flow of the animation is same as wano so i'm really happy with that see Lu luffy's like illustration or art style here is much different in wano like the outlines are much softer where in one i think it was much more thicker and luffy actually luffy looks a bit younger here yeah whereas when we go back here to sabo i don't know it's much more detailed because maybe maybe because of what you know of the situation is in it's much more intense and we finally like know something or like we finally i mean in the anime we we'll finally get to see what's with the throne and i think sabo will be um finding out soon maybe that's why the gorosei pinned it on him Oh, the eye. This is probably Imu's eye for sure. Or Im Sama's eye. So the title is, yeah, about Luffy and Sabo. No Shinro, Shinro, I don't know what does it, what that means. But it's about them. Like maybe um, a similar or crossing paths. I don't know. Well, let me know in the comments. But damn, I'm really excited for, I'm really excited for Egg Highlands. And, you know. I I definitely know who that girl is. Oops. Yeah, that girl is. And I'm excited for the, you know, an anime only fans to watch this island. It's a definitely jam-packed arc. It's a futuristic like I said earlier and Wow, um, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just really excited for it. And I'm not really sure what they're going to show on New Year's Eve. <sighs> but yeah, I think that's it. That's it. That's all I can say. I'm just excited for it. I'm happy that we get to see a preview before the, the actual episode. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's your reaction. <laughs> And yeah, before I go into the de go into details, please expect a reaction of the egghead preview reaction of mine. So the egghead preview reaction of volume 106 was released months ago and I just reacted to it. So um, it will be released same time as I release uh, anime episode reactions of One Piece. So on Monday, um, 8 a.m. Japanese time. So I think if it's in US, it's probably 7 p.m. So please, please, please take a look on that. I reacted to the song Future Island, if, if that's right. Future Island by Mori Calliope? Calliope or something like that. And I added, um, I reacted to the teaser, of course, of Egghead Island that was released, I think, a few weeks ago. Showing um, the Straw Hat's art style in the anime. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> There's your action. Please drop a like, drop a comment. And yeah, please subscribe. A lot of you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, but are... You know watching our videos so please 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 subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell to not miss out on any of our videos and yeah wherever you are whatever day you are watching this you know please stay safe take care and happy holidays and merry christmas happy new year and i will see you on the next video or reaction and especially on egghead island on the side of the Egghead Island.
Bye.